Hi guys, um, this is just a simp simple tutorial on what is it? Um, oh, how to make orbs, just really simple. I'll probably go into more detail at another time. Uh, just check that we are recording and we are, I don't know what I'll learn. Minimize. Well, we're going to load up Adobe Photoshop here and I am using Adobe Photoshop CS4 Extended. Um, why isn't it loading up? Oh, there we are. Just gonna let that load up. I don't think it changes anything if you are in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Um, but if it does, please just comment and I'll help you as much as possible. So now we've got Adobe Photoshop open, so I want to go to File, New, and then I just have that by default. But you can just put in whatever you want. Click OK. Right, first off, you want to make the background just pure black, and then put that on. Then you want to go to Filter, uh, Render, uh, Lens Flare, and then you want to put it on this one, 105mm prime. Um, I wouldn't recommend on ch changing the brightness. And just have it in the default area. Click OK. Go to filter. Um, I don't know which one this is. Distort. Yeah. Go to filter, distort, polarize, coordinates, polar to rectangular. You want to select that one and go OK. Right. Now we're going to use a command, let me just move back in my chair, Control T, uh, that's on a keyboard for PC, uh, flip vertical, so then it goes like this, press enter, and then go back to filter, and then distort, polarize coordinates, and select the top one which is rectangular to polar. Click OK, and then you've got an orb. Next, you want to get the um, marquee tool in the circle one, and then if you try and line up the top of the orb and the left hand side of the orb, and then green in the corner here, and then just move in a little bit more, and um, like I am doing here, just click and then hold shift and then just drag it to where you feel where you want it um, so just let go and now you've got the arm um, you want to right click and go to layer via cut so you've got the cut now now just get layer 1 drag it into the bin so now you've got this, it's pretty plain, and so obviously you want to do something with this. If you press Ctrl B, it brings up colour balance. Um, now you can just select between shadows, midtones, and highlights um, for the colour you want. I think most people normally just start off with highlights. Um, But obviously you won't want to go like put a red in the middle and everything else is blue so I'm going to keep blue here and greens, blue and greens. So if you go to OK, now you've got that and then um, if you want to intensify the colour you just copy the layer and select this little thing here and go to overlay. And it gives it more, I don't know, it just gets rid of that little part there. So now we've got that, we can just merge them, and then if you want to carry on changing the colour, press Ctrl U, brings up hue and saturation, and um, you can go in between all colours, you can make it black and white again, and you can lighten and dark it. So yeah. 
first just a simple tutorial on how to make an op. Hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my first videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.